بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله النبي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا ابي القاسم المصطفى محمد و اله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الارضين اجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم اخرجني من ظلمات الوهم واكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا ابواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علمك برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين uh, as you remember in the last few sessions we've been talking about self assessment and last week we talked about المراقبة as a very important method for self-assessment and self-improvement and we said muraqaba is more difficult because it has to be something that you observe throughout the day so if muhasaba means to sit, for example, a few minutes and review what you have done during the day. Muraqaba is that at the same time that you are doing something, say something, or you want to make a decision, you have to be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you should have full observation of why you are doing this and how you are going to do it so we talked about muraqaba and i said for some of our scholars muraqaba is very important and one of those scholars that has given lots of significance to muraqaba is Allama Tabatabai Rahmatullah Alayhi. Uh, I don't know if you have mentioned the story of Ayatollah Amini, not last week, but maybe before, that towards end of life of Allama Tabatabai, the last few days, he was not uh, speaking to people okay so he was in his room and looking for example at something or at the window so sometimes they used to bring him food he was not eating so the food was there for a few hours then they were taking so he was not talking so ayatollah ibrahim amini who was a student of imam khomeini and and has the book self building and has the book um, just ruler I think it's for Imam Zaman so he said in that time when Allah was not talking to people I asked him what is the best way for improving ourselves or building ourselves <coughs> and Allah who was not speaking to anyone answered to this question <laughs> so this means that he was aware but had no interest in normal conversation you know for example you know what how is weather you know what is the taste of food you know he had no interest in such things. But if something was for the sake of God, he had interest. I remember Ayatollah Ahmadi Miyanaji, was our teacher, said something about Ayatollah Hujjat. You know Ayatollah Hujjat? Uh, his grave is in the shrine of Lady Masuma. Mm -hmm. So he's the one who made the school of Hujjatiyah. And actually, 
part of it is designed by Allama Tabatabai. Mm -hmm. The architecture was through Allama Tabatabai. So Ayatollah Hujjat also was not speaking towards the end of his life. And one Talabi was clever. He said, I know how to make him speak. Because he's Marja, so he has to answer to our questions. Mm -hmm. So he asked him, Agha, what is your fatwa about burnt bread? If a bread is burnt, can we eat or not? Then he had to answer. I don't know what answer he gave, but Agha Ahmed Imadi said that he answered. Because, you know, for Maraja to give answer to inquiries is necessary. So, Allah Tabatabai also answered to Ayatollah Amini. When he asked, what's the, your advice, you know, what's the best method for building ourselves? He said three times, Al-Muraqaba. Al-Muraqaba, Al-Muraqaba. I don't remember with Alif Allam or without Alif Allam. I don't remember that, whether he spoke in Arabic or Farsi, but definitely these Terms. Muraqaba, muraqaba, muraqaba means I mean this. I really mean this. Mm -hmm. He could have said three things, but instead of saying three things, he repeated one thing three times. Okay? This means that this is the only thing that I can tell you as a summary of everything. And if you do this, Inshallah, you will achieve all other things that you need. Muraqab. So, to explain this further, I thought of reflecting on a letter that Allah Tabatabai wrote in response to a letter by a young person. A young person asked Allah for advice in the year. 1355, which is 40 years ago, exactly 40 years ago, except maybe one month. So this person asked this question. 1355. 1355. Oh, okay. Yes. Now it is 1395. Okay. So the Letter is this, inshallah. I hope it comes. It's also online uh, available. Uh, I read the Farsi, but you will be given the English as well. I reflect on Farsi because it might be more accurate. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Mahzar Mubarak Nukhbatul Falasifa. The blessed Mahzar means presence, but you know, yeah, means I don't know how we can translate this in. So it means like Your Excellency. Nukhbatul Falasifa. Is it ready? Thank you very much. If you could please, yes. Nukhbatul Falasifa means the chosen among the philosophers. So you are like a summary, a, a, the chosen one. Wa'ayatullahil Uzma, because he was also a great mujtahid. Although he didn't publish his Risala, but he was a mujtahid. He could be a martyr. Janab Aghay Taba Tabai, Adamallahu Umrakum. May Allah. Prolong your life. Masha Allah. As long as he wants. Salamun alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and mercy of God and blessings of Allah. sukhan anke. If there is a difference between what I translate and that translation, mark it and you can tell me later. 
کوتاه سخن آن که جوانی هستم 22 ساله To make it short I am a young man of 20 thank you 20 years old to be please sir میزان تحصیل پنجم ریاضی Uh, it means that he was in year 11, not finishing his high school in the subject of math, mathematics. And right now he is a Talabe studying in Qom, and he has studied around Lum'e Usul al fiqh so he's in the fourth year, fifth year of the Hose. Akhun Zade means my father is also a cleric and I have been I have done uh, my military services for two years he, this man says this young man says and sh six years I was in Tehran as a child then for my primary and high school I went to home also a few years I was in Chermansha چنین تشخیص می دهم. I have such understanding that maybe you are the only person who can answer my question. Okay? I don't know. This was a way of being clever <laughs> or uh, just simple as he said this. But it's a good way to encourage the person to whom you write that you are the only person that can answer so that person feels more responsible dar muhit va shara'ati ke zindagi mikunam havay nafs va amal va arzuha bar man tasallut faravani dara and he's in qom he's in hoze but still he says where i live Lower desires and whims and appetites have you know, strong control over me. They have taken me as their captive. And this is because of the fact And they have stopped me moving towards Allah. And moving towards realization of my, my potentialities. They have stopped me. My request from you is please tell me what should I do to gain control over my nafs and to break this magic and then felicity. And come to me. I may need to remind you that I don't want advice or you know preaching because there are many people who can give me advice. I need practical instructions. Not someone who says you know be good, be pious. No, I need practical instructions. همان گونه که شما در تحصیلات در خود در نجف پیش استاد, ف... استاد فلسفه داشتید همان شخصی که تسلط به فلسفه اشتاق دارد این در سیم وید در یو هد تیچر در یو هد نجف یو هد تیچر آف فلسفی و هد یو نو ویر گود یو نو اکوینتنس و فیمیلاریتی وید ایلومنیشنیس فلسفی Then he also says, I should also mention that I think, the writer thinks, that you are not able to give answer verbally to me, orally. Also, I am very uh, embarrassed to take your valuable time. Therefore, I beg you, as a father, that if you find it appropriate, 
And if you find this request is genuine, to help me. If the answer is no, please don't laugh at my thought, my incomplete thought. And just privately tear my paper my, <laughs> and leave me to my own. Thank you very much. So he was very honest, but also maybe in a sense clever, but really showing that he's desperate. Yes. The few of the synthetic is huge translated, these are not here. They are not there. So no. the way you did it, I'm not <laughs> able to take it down. Okay. It's three, four sentences, last three, four sentences. Okay. The conditions. The saying is longer than what is here. Yeah, we didn't, we've not come to that part yet. Okay, I hope then uh, I have chosen the right letter. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was uh, up to, I practice instruction for week two. Rather okay. I need practice. Now, when I read the answer, you will realize the same or not? Because I thought uh, this is the same uh, translation. Anyway, you you check this one. If if it's not the same one, I give you inshallah. The same this one as well. He's just deleted the front and I see. Okay. Now the answer. The main thing is the answer of Allah. Assalamu alaikum. So he answered with giving salam. برای موفق شدن و رسیدن به منظوری که در پشت ورقه مرقوم داشته اید To be successful and reach that purpose that you have written on the back of this paper So Allama answered on the back of his own paper Okay? Lazemast. It's very short, but very important. Lazemast hemati baravarde. You have to have ambition, or maybe more precisely, determination. Hemat means ambition, but sometimes means determination. Azm. Hemmat. Hemmat means determination. So the first thing we need is what? Determination. determination. So please mark and at least first, because I want to see how many moral concepts Allah is bringing this you know, short letter. Here the translation says willpower. Is it the same thing? Yeah. yeah. No, that's the difference then after this. So, Lazemas Hemati Barawode. So, the first thing he says is, you must have determination. But he says, Hemati Barawode means you must bring this out of yourself. Because every person potentially has determination. Determination is not something you buy. Is there any place you can buy determination? Can you borrow determination? No. You have to bring out of yourself. Okay? Yeah. yeah. After determination, you must make toba. Repentance. Be muraqibe wa muhasabe. Muhasabah, if you want to say Arabic Muhasabah, in Farsi we say Muhasabah. Be Muraqabah wa Muhasabah be Pardazi. You have to be very careful about observing, self monitoring, and self accounting. Okay? Muraqabah. Would the translate to be good readiness as well? Godwariness is too general. Muraqaba, what is the translation? It's a uh, vigilance. Okay, and? And muhasaba? Introspection. So, you know, we, we discuss what is muraqaba, what is muhasaba, so we can use it just muraqaba and muhasaba. Okay. The muraqaba before muhasaba? 
Muraqaba is constant and at the same time that you are doing or saying or making intention, muhasaba is afterwards. When you have already done something. Like for example, when you go for shopping, when you are shopping, you have to be careful. Then after you make the shopping and go home, also you go and check what you have purchased, you know, anything, you know, is a mistake or, you know, the uh, bill is okay or not. But this is too late. It's better that when you are shopping in the store, you are careful. Yes. Okay. Now, what is the method? What is the method of this? This, in this way. Every day in the morning when you wake up. Okay? I hope you don't wake up in the afternoon <laughs> or midday <laughs> hopefully you wake up in the morning <laughs> okay har roz ke taraf sob az khwab bidar mi shavid qasd jiddi konid every day in the morning when you wake up make a serious decision okay that's the jiddi. Serious decision. Ke dar har amali ke pish ayat. Whatever is going to happen, whatever is going to, you know, I'm going to come across during the day. Reza-i khuda az-zas-muhra muraat khaham. I am going to observe the pleasure of Allah. May His name be dignified and honored. So every day you wake up, make this decision. That today, in every decision that I'm going to make, everything that I'm going to do or say, every place that I'm going to go or not to go, I observe the pleasure of Allah subhanahu On vacht, if you have such decision, dar sare har kari ke mi khahid anjam dahid, naf'e akhirat ra manzur khahid dahashd. Everything that you want to do, you would consider, is this beneficial for my life hereafter or not? You are going to work. Is this beneficial for me? You can say, it is beneficial because I need rest to continue my life, to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to look after my family. But not to cheat, not to be dishonest, because it's not beneficial. Don't think by you know, this type of thing you can benefit your akhir. So anything, even if you do something worldly, but the intention should be that I want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to do something beneficial for my akhirah. Dar sar har kari ke mi khahid anjam dahid naf'e akhirat ra manzur khahid dasht. You would consider the benefit for the hereafter. Betori ke, in this way, که اگر نفع اخروی نداشته باشد انجام نخواهید داد not only it should not be harmful it has to be beneficial so it, if it has no benefit for your akhira you must not do it okay هر چه باشد whatever it might be any action any thought must be only 
done if it is beneficial for your akhirah. Hamin hal ra ta shab vakht khab edam khayit. You must try to have this condition till night when you want to go to bed. Of course, initially in the first day, you may forget. Okay? For example, you make this decision six o'clock in the morning, then all of a sudden, nine o'clock, you remember you had forgotten. So you make again decision, but at 10 o'clock, you remember you have forgotten. But you keep trying, and inshallah, after some time, then you will remember. Pardon? Yes. So, همین حال را تا شب وقت خواب ادامه خواهید داد. You would continue this till night when you want to sleep. But, before you sleep, you have to do something else. This much is مراقبه. وقت خواب چهار پنج دقیقه در کارهایی که روز انجام داده اید فکر کرده four five minutes okay before you sleep and spend four five minutes reviewing what you have done فکر کنید think about what you have done and what you have not done of course Something, maybe you have you had to do something like mubahisa and you have not done it. So you have to remember. This is muhasaba. That was muraqaba. Now this four or five minutes is muhasaba. So muraqaba is 16 hours, 18 hours. Muhasaba is four or five minutes. Yeki yeki az nazar khahid guzaraand. So you have to review like you know uh, going you know backward to watch everything quickly maybe then you realize that four or five minutes is not enough you have to spend more time maybe some of the things you have to just keep thinking هر کدام را مطابق رضای خدا انجام یافته شکری بکنید when you review your actions and you find that you have done it for the sake of Allah's pleasure thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that alhamdulillah you had this tawfiq to do it for the sake of Allah هر کدام تخلف شده if you have not done it for the sake of Allah even if it is not haram just you didn't do it for the sake of Allah you have to do istighfar yeah. Let me give you an example. If you work in a company, you are an employee for a company, they give you a car to use it for company. And then with this car, you go to park to enjoy yourself. You cannot say, I didn't do any haram. This is haram that you are using car which is belonging to company for your benefit. For a servant of Allah, anything that he does not for the pleasure of Allah is haram. Not fiqhi haram, but it's against the etiquette of being servant. Yeah, you don't need to say, you know, I didn't do haram. Yes, alhamdulillah, you didn't do haram. But anything that you did not for pleasing Allah is a sin for you. Okay, is it clear? Yes. How would you distinguish between Tawbah and Istighfar? Istighfar is the means for Tawbah. Har kudam takhalluf shode. Any action that is not done for pleasing Allah, Istighfari bekonid. Do Istighfar for it. So not one istighfar for everything. Every action do istighfar. Okay? Not you know, just one for everything. For example, 
if I have made few troubles for my neighbor, I have broken his window, I have put rubbish on his garden, I have, I don't know, annoyed his children, made noise in the night. I cannot just say, sorry, please, you know, accept my apologies. You have to make sure that for every bad thing you ask for apologies, so that, first of all, this would be a lesson for you to humble you, that in future you don't do this. And also he knows who has done this for him, <laughs> to him, you know. He doesn't think that other neighbors have done this. So for every bad thing, you do a step far. In Raviyera Haruz Edam Dahid. The same manner has to be repeated every day. Even weekends. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have weekends for this. Weekday weekend is the same. In Ravesh Agar Chedar Badi Hal Sacht. This method in the beginning is difficult and for the human self or soul which has not been trained is bitter. Okay? It's not very sweet. It's not like, you know, doing something enjoyable for the beginners. But this is the key for salvation and success. And you know, no key is sweet. If you put key in your hand, it's not sweet. <laughs> key is not sweet. Key is something not for taste. It's something which used to unlock. Harsha. Pish as khab, another advice. Before you sleep, if you can recite those chapters of Quran which are called Musabbahat, Hadid, Hash, Saf, Jum'ah, Taghamun. If you can recite before night these five chapters. Pardon? Numbers. numbers. Yes, you can get Hadid, Hash, Saf, Jum'a, Taqab. All start with Tasbih. If you cannot recite five surahs, at least Surah Hash. پس از 20 روز از حال اشتغال after 20 days of doing this حالات خود را برای بنده در نامه بنویسید so he says write back to me so it means that Allah really wanted to help him and in this way that young person gets Encouragement that I must do this so that I can tell him, you know, what I have done. So Allah said, after 20 days of doing this, tell me what feelings, what conditions you have. Halat. It shows that if you do this after 20 days, you would, you would feel difference. Yeah, because otherwise what he's going to report. So even after 20 days, you would start seeing some difference. Insha'Allah, muwaffaq khayyib. Insha'Allah, you will be successful. Wassalamu alaikum, Muhammad Hussein Tabatabai. So, this is something that, if you don't mind, we all now try to do. No, we report together to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> so, maybe we can, inshallah, next week, 
also, you know, come and discuss. Yeah. We will do it for 20 days. But I'm saying even next week, inshallah, we will reflect on this. And if you have come across any experience, or for example, if you have questions, some thoughts, some ideas, uh, we will discuss. And there are other letters of Allah Tabatabai that inshallah also we can discuss. But I don't want to give you too many letters. It's important that we absorb these uh, you know, instructions. So what we have to do, inshallah, is when you wake up in the morning, and when I wake up in the morning, we all decide, inshallah, to do everything to please Allah, and we do only those things which would be beneficial for your akhirah. And in the night, we review if anything was good for the sake of Allah, we thank Allah. If anything was bad or not beneficial, we ask forgiveness. And either we recite these five chapters or at least Surah Tul Hajj. Yes. Salam alaikum. So you have to keep remembering this. And if you think you may forget, have something in front of you. For example, a nice, you know, um, quote or writing about muraqaba. Okay? You can have, you know, something called muraqaba in front of you so that you remember. As I said, in the beginning we may forget but gradually the time that we remember would be more than the time that we forget and then inshallah it becomes constant. Yes. Salaam alaikum. Sure. That's a good idea. Um, Definitely, yeah. Yes. It's very good. We can write to Imam Mahdi at Sallallahu Ta'ala Farajah Sharif. And then you would try to write it in the most honest way. You have to. You have to try it in the honest way. Yes. Because he's watching. He's yeah. Yeah, just try to do things for pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't need to do lots of a'mal, lots of ibadat. Just the main thing is try to do things with good, yes, good understanding. Why I am doing this. Yes. This is the power of tasbih because you know tasbih is the food of the angels. Ta'amuhum at tasbih. The angels have food. What is their food? Tasbih. The people of heaven. Da'wahum fiha subhanakallahum. The people of heaven also their call is tasbih. So these chapters of Quran which start with tasbih are very powerful spiritual 
tools and by reading them inshallah then you would have very nice sleeping and maybe some spiritual also progress sometimes a moment during the night can achieve more than what he achieves during the day not to encourage you to sleep more <laughs> <laughs> but you know because during the day you work for the sake of Allah then Allah in the night gives you the reward so sometimes you would have a very nice you know dream or maybe you don't remember anything when you wake up but you feel you know very peaceful yeah like you know uh, when you your child has been you have a young child you know has been walking around making himself tired then you put the child to the bed and when the child sleeps you kiss his forehead or her forehead so we hope that that's our experience that when we go to bed then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would kiss our forehead inshallah Okay, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alam.